Hello, welcome back to Meditating the Word. My name is Cherie. I'm your host and fellow traveler on this journey through the Bible in a year. Whether you've been reading the Bible for years, or this is your first time to read it from Genesis to Revelation, I'm glad to have you with us. We're a little more than halfway through our journey, but we still have a lot of people to meet and places to visit. So let's jump into today's passage. This is day 207. Today we're reading Isaiah 40 through 43. I'm reading from the World English Bible. Let's get started. The Book of Isaiah, chapters 40 through 43. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak comfortably to Jerusalem, and call out to her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she is received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of the one who calls out, Prepare the way of the Lord in the wilderness. Make a level highway in the desert for our Lord. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The uneven shall be made level, and the rough places a plain. The Lord's glory shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice of one saying, Cry out! One said, What shall I cry? All flesh is like grass, and all its glory is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, because the Lord's breath blows on it. Surely the people are like grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. You who tell good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain, You who tell good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up. Don't be afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold the Lord. The Lord will come as a mighty one, and his arm will rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arm and carry them in his bosom. He will gently lead those who have their young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the sky with his span and calculated the dust of the earth in a measuring basket and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Lord's spirit Or who has taught him as his counselor? Who did he take counsel with, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of justice, and taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop in a bucket, and are regarded as a speck of dust on a balance. Behold, he lifts up the islands like a very little thing. Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor its animals sufficient for a burnt offering. All the nations are like nothing before him. They are regarded by him as less than nothing and vanity. To whom, then, will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare to him? A workman has cast an image, and the goldsmith overlays it with gold and casts silver chains for it. He who is too impoverished for such an offering chooses a tree that will not rot. He seeks a skillful workman to set up a carved image for him that will not be moved. Haven't you known? Haven't you heard? Haven't you been told from the beginning? Haven't you understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in, who brings princes to nothing and makes the judges of the earth meaningless. They are planted scarcely. 
They are sown scarcely. Their stalk has scarcely taken root in the ground. He merely blows on them, and they wither, and the whirlwind takes them away as stubble. To whom, then, will you liken me? Who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and see who has created these, who brings out their army by number, who calls them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is lacking. Why do you say, Jacob, and speak, Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and the justice due me is disregarded by my God. Haven't you known? Haven't you heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, doesn't faint. He isn't weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. He increases the strength of him who has no might. Even the youths faint and get weary, and the young men utterly fail. But those who wait for the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Keep silent before me, islands. And let the people renew their strength. Let them come near. Let them speak. Let's meet together for judgment. Who has raised up one from the east? Who called him to his feet in righteousness? He hands over nations to him and makes him rule over kings. He gives them like the dust to his sword, like the driven stubble to his bow. He pursues them and passes by safely even by a way that he had not gone with his feet. Who has worked and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. The islands have seen and fear. The ends of the earth tremble. They approach and come. Everyone helps his neighbor. They say to their brothers, be strong. So the carpenter encourages the goldsmith. He who smooths with a hammer encourages him who strikes the anvil. Saying of the soldering, it is good. And he fastens it with nails that it might not totter. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the offspring of Abraham, my friend, You whom I have taken hold of from the ends of the earth and called from its corners and said to you, You are my servant. I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all those who are incensed against you will be disappointed and confounded. Those who strive with you will be like nothing and shall perish. You will seek them and won't find them. Even those who contend with you, those who war against you, will be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Don't be afraid. I will help you. Don't be afraid, you worm, Jacob, and you men of Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I have made you into a new sharp threshing instrument with teeth. You will thresh the mountains and beat them small. You will make the hills like chaff. You will winnow them, and the wind will carry them away and the whirlwind will scatter them. You will rejoice in the Lord. You will glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and needy seek water, and there is none. Their tongue fails for thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. 
I will open rivers on the bare heights and springs in the middle of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will put cedar, acacia, myrtle, and oil trees in the wilderness. I will set cypress trees, pine, and box trees together in the desert, that they may see, know, and consider, and understand together that the Lord's hand has done this, and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Produce your cause, says the Lord. Bring out your strong reasons, says the King of Jacob. Let them announce and declare to us what will happen. Declare the former things what they are, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them, or show us things to come. Declare the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that you are gods. Yes, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and see it together. Behold, you are nothing, and your work is nothing. He who chooses you is an abomination. I have raised up one from the north, and he has come. From the rising of the sun, one who calls on my name. And he shall come on rulers as on mortar, and as the potter treads clay. Who has declared it from the beginning that we may know, and before that we may say he is right? Surely there is no one who declares. Surely there is no one who shows. Surely there is no one who hears your words. I am the first to say to Zion, Behold, look at them, and I will give one who brings good news to Jerusalem. When I look, there is no man. Even among them there is no counselor who, when I ask, can answer a word. Behold, all of their deeds are vanity and nothing. Their molten images are wind and confusion. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit on him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout, nor raise his voice, nor cause it to be heard in the street. He won't break a bruised reed. He won't quench a dimly burning wick. He will faithfully bring justice. He will not fail nor be discouraged until he has set justice in the earth and the islands wait for his law. God, the Lord, he who created the heavens and stretched them out, he who spread out the earth and that which comes out of it, he who gives breath, to all its people, and spirit to those who walk in it, says, I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will hold your hand, I will keep you, and make you a covenant for the people as a light for the nations, to open the blind eyes, to bring the prisoners out of the dungeon, and those who sit in darkness out of the prison. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another, nor my praise to engraved images. Behold, the former things have happened, and I declare new things. I tell you about them before they come up. Sing to the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that is therein, the islands and their inhabitants, let the wilderness and its cities raise their voices with the villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord will go out like a mighty man. He will stir up zeal like a man of war. He will raise a war cry. Yes, he will shout aloud. He will triumph over his enemies. I have been silent a long time, and I have been quiet and restrained myself. Now I will cry out like a travailing woman. I will both gasp and pant. 
I will destroy mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs. I will make the rivers islands and will dry up the pools. I will bring the blind by a way that they don't know. I will lead them in paths that they don't know. I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. I will do these things and I will not forsake them. Those who trust in engraved images, who tell molten images, you are our gods, will be turned back. They will be utterly disappointed. Hear, you deaf, and look, you blind, that you may see. Who is blind but my servant? Or who is as deaf as my messenger whom I send? Who is as blind as he who is at peace, and as blind as the Lord's servant? You see many things, but don't observe. His ears are open, but he doesn't listen. It pleased the Lord for his righteousness' sake to magnify the law and to make it honorable. But this is a robbed and plundered people. All of them are snared in holes, and they are hidden in prisons. They have become captives, and no one delivers, and a plunder, and no one says, Restore them. Who is there among you who will give ear to this? Who will listen and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob as plunder and Israel to the robbers? Didn't the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, and they disobeyed his law. Therefore he poured the fierceness of his anger on him and the strength of the battle. It set him on fire all around, but he didn't know. It burned him, but he didn't take it to heart. But now, the Lord who created you, Jacob, and he who formed you, Israel, says, Don't be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, and flame will not scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place, since you have been precious and honored in my sight, and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give people in your place and nations instead of your life. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and gather you from the west. I will tell the north, give them up, and tell the south, don't hold them back. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name and whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed, yes, whom I have made. Bring out the blind people who have eyes and the deaf who have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the peoples be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring their witnesses that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say, That is true. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, with my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither will there be after me. I myself am the Lord. Besides me there is no Savior. I have declared I have saved and I have shown, and there was no strange God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, says the Lord, and I am God. Yes, since the day was, I am he. There is no one who can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who can hinder it? The Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, says, for your sake, I have sent to Babylon, and I will bring all of them down as fugitives, even the Chaldeans, in the ships of their rejoicing. 
I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. The Lord who makes a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, who brings out the chariot and horse, the army and the mighty man. They lie down together, they shall not rise. They are extinct, they are quenched like a wick, says. Don't remember the former things, and don't consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. It springs out now, don't you know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The animals of the field, the jackals and the ostriches, shall honor me, because I give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people which I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Yet you have not called on me, Jacob. But you have been weary of me, Israel. You have not brought me any of your sheep for burnt offerings, neither have you honored me with your sacrifices. I have not burdened you with offerings, nor wearied you with frankincense. You have brought me no sweet cane with money, nor have you filled me with the fat of your sacrifices, but you have burdened me with your sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities." I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare your case that you may be justified. Your first father sinned, and your teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore, I will profane the princes of the sanctuary, and I will make Jacob a curse and Israel an insult. Father God, thank you for the words of the prophet Isaiah, hints of the coming Messiah, and what amazing promises. You give power to the weak. You renew our strength so that we mount up like eagles. We have nothing to fear because you are our God. You've redeemed us, you've called us by name, and we are yours. We don't consider the past, the things of old, because you are doing a new thing. You make a way where there was no way. Thank you, Father, for choosing us. Amen. Well, there we have it, another chapter in our journey through the Bible. It's not always easy to understand, but remember, it's not a race, and each word we read is a seed planted in our hearts. Thank you for being part of this journey. Join us tomorrow and every day as we continue our journey through the pages of the Bible. This is Cherie signing off for the day. Remember, you are in my prayers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time. Be blessed and be a blessing.